grab it here. Talk a little bit about some accessories that are usually not mentioned in other videos related to um, stick welding. And um, one of those accessories we can start with is a cold glass of water. So you can get pretty hot doing welding. Nope, oh, onto more um, practical serious issues. And I'll start one of those things that is actually kind of important. And that's um, the fire extinguisher. I mean, uh, this is a bit overkill, just because I'm trying to make a point. I mean, you can um, can uh, get away with a much much smaller um, extinguisher, but uh, it's actually very good to have either at the place where you're uh, working or at least easily accessible. So that's my first suggestion of an accessory that um, could be considered necessary. And the next. Pretty much in the same same kind of category as that is um, a fire blanket. So if something catches fire, or or a you know, person catches fire, then you can actually use this fiberglass blanket to cover the object in question to put out the fire. So this is also good to have close to where you're working. And then um, continuing a little bit on the same theme, but not exactly the same thing. I found these things to be very useful. This is a, um, a blanket or a carpet. No, it's actually a carpet that you usually use under coal grills to protect the ground. So that if you drop coal bits on the ground, then you don't destroy your destroy the ground underneath. And this is good if you have a like, let's say you. Floor underneath is asphalt or stone, or even even if you're working with gravel or grass, then you can actually spread this out underneath the welding area, and then all the sort of slag and spatter and stuff that might make make the the ground look very ugly, um, uh, it will land on this, and um, this is uh, this can um, take up to one thousand. Celsius, so you know any any slag or other other burning artifacts that are going to be falling are going to um, just hit this and burn out on top of this. And then it's actually, as you see, it's a carpet, so that one can just like shake it together and then throw all the crap into the garbage and not have it on the on the ground. So very and, and relatively cheap. You can get these in like you know, in metrics. You can get them in one meter or two meter or several different sizes depending on how big your work area is to cover. And then moving on, I usually find it actually useful to be able to um, have tools that one can grab at things without burning yourself and then it's good to actually have some kind of pliers and then also sometimes when you want to um, for example, the welding rods or something that get stuck and you want to cut them off, then you actually have a pair of wires that cut things off. And I, and I don't use the best tools that I have because it's expected that these will get um, yeah, a bit damaged and possibly burned. <laughs> and um, classic wire brush, very useful to have just to um, clean up things either before or after when you've missed a spot. You don't have to start taking out the grinder and unrelated tools. You just hit it with that. Usually works for the most things. And then a normal metal file. And this is used that when you burning these rods then the electrode usually burns further into the protective coating so that when you want to strike it again then um, you might have problems so you can actually use the file to file down the electrodes so that you expose the center core. Makes it much easier to um, start the new weld. Can also be used to clean up um, your, around your welds or the weld itself. And a 
course short parts always fit so you don't need to adjust things but you know I, I found it that um, there's been often cases where you have to um, sort of um, use persuasion to get the parts into place and this is especially true when you're doing welding because then you, you tack things into place and then you need to nudge them a little bit and then tack the rest and then do the main welding. So it's good to have, I mean it doesn't have to be exactly this hammer, but some kind of hammer collection to on on your job site so that you, depending on what you're working on, that you can actually knock things into place. And the last tool on this short and short video is this one here, which is a slag hammer. And um, you know when you're doing stick welding, then you get a you get a slag over the welding, and then uh, depending on what types of um, electrodes you're using and what type of welding, it's sometimes easy to get off and sometimes hard to get off. And actually, it's um, if you don't have this type of a slag hammer with the you know which by form has this pointy end and then this more like a chisel type of end. It's actually actually relatively annoying to try and get rid of the slag. So uh, I, if you if you would not have this, uh, your work would be become a little bit annoying. So I suggest the one wine vice. Yeah, they they pretty much all the slag hammers look approximately like this. So you can pick them up from the usual sites. But anyway, it wasn't intended to be a very long video, I just thought I'd introduce some of the more accessories that are not usually included in in, uh, in welding videos. And, um, so if you found this useful, you know, please consider hitting the like button, and if you would like to see more content um, going down the road using this stuff, then um, consider subscribing. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.